I understand now why I'm here. I had a bad understanding. Because things happened to me that were not in my plan. I didn't plan for a whole lot of things to happen to me. I didn't want them to happen. If it hadn't happened to me, some of that stuff, you could have missed me with that stuff. I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't anything. But God uses every single and individual detail of our life to bring us to a predetermined point where we meet with the will of God. Some things I didn't want for myself. But now that I am where I am, I appreciate God. Everything I went through, David said it like this, it was good for me. That I was afflicted. It was good for me. Because it taught me things, not just about God, it taught me things about myself. And now I know how much I can take. I want you tonight, if you're here, some of you might say, Bishop, I, I'm not saved. I don't know the Lord at the point of my sin. I don't even know what it means to be saved. That means to be delivered from your sin. That means to allow the Lord to come into your life and take control. You know the way you mess up your life is when you try to rule it and reign it yourself. But you don't know how to live. He has to show you how. So he gives you the power and you live how he wants you to live. When people tell you can't nobody live right, that's somebody who's not letting Jesus take control. How do I mess up my life when he's the one driving the car? How do I go in the wrong direction when he's the one behind the wheel? I get out the way and let him take control and he lives his life through me. That's what makes my life worth living. If you're here tonight, you say, Bishop, I'm not saved. I really, I've been talking about a relationship with the Lord, but I really don't have it. But tonight I see the need. If that's true, I want you to come. I want you to come. I'm, I'm ready to give up control of my life. And I'm ready to let the Lord have his way. If that's you, you don't have to be ashamed. Just come on. I'm standing here. I'm standing here waiting on you. Come on. Many of you here are just saying, I have never been baptized with the Holy Ghost. Listen, you need the Holy Ghost. You need it. Jesus said, you will be in do with time when the Holy Ghost comes. If you hear what you say, Bishop, I've never been filled with the Holy Ghost. I, but I want that experience. Listen, everything God got for me, I want it. Don't find the Holy Ghost because if he said it, he said it for a reason. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if you're here tonight, you say, I'm ready for some real power. I'm tired of talking about quitting stuff. I don't have the power to quit. I'm tired of talking about I need to do better, but don't have the power to do better. I'm ready to let the Lord have control. Come on, baby. I want you to step out. Just all you gotta do is make that first step. That's it. Just make the first step. God bless you. Uh, with us. 